The CIA called, and I was in the office. And Marty came in afterwards and said, well, they basically want me to give them the model. And I told him to bugger off, um, that I'm not going to give them anything. They realized that the model could forecast the rise or fall of a nation. That was geopolitically important to them. That was really what the whole thing was about. So you can understand why these people want access to his code and his model. If they know where the next war is going to be, then that's very powerful for them. The security system was that every computer in the entire organization pinged each other to make sure everybody's there. You take one out, uh-uh, something's wrong, somebody's missing, self-destruct, everything was wiped out. Some of Marty's systems were under attack and we built honey traps to try to track these people back. Obviously we were backtracking to certain IP addresses in Langley, Virginia that were allocated to government agencies. Tony creates a system and left little openings. So somebody coming in trying to attack says, aha, I got in but they're in this fake computer with all fake information in there, and then we can watch and see what they're doing. If they get hold of the code, then they would be able to reproduce it, whether they'd be able to understand it. Um, I could sit down and rewrite the code with Marty, but would I be able to understand it, even though I'm writing it? Only, I think only Marty can really understand those formulas behind everything. <laughs> 